What's the matter? Is everything okay? Oh God, have mercy. You gotta see a little clearer. Who's that woman looking right back? Girl, bye. What's up, you guys? It's your girl Shante, also known as the Serenity, also known as Playboy Princess, also known as Queen Tay, also known as Shante the Superstar, also known as your girl. What's up? So, I'm just getting right into the point today because I'm back, y'all. I know, I know y'all probably sick and tired of me. I know y'all tired of me. I know y'all tired of me. I come, I go, I come, I go, I come, I go. But that's just life, y'all. I'm trying my hardest to stay consistent. I'm really trying. But it was my fault because I chose to bring you guys back at a time where I had so much going on. When I say so much going on, I mean so much going on. So basically, um, today I'm just going to go ahead and um, I got you guys with me while I'm making my salad uh, because I'm really trying to get used to this uh, wifey thing. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to cook more. I'm trying to make sure that my man's meal is, is prepped before he gets home. I'm trying to make sure that, you know, I'm fixing healthy foods, like variety of things. Now, I'm really trying to change things up. You know, since I have a new role now, I'm really trying to like, you know, make things a little different. So here we are. Um, I'm going to make a little salad for dinner tonight. We got some other stuff on the on the stove. So, um, but yes, uh, I've been gone for a little while. Um, we just going to say this was just like a mini gone break, for a couple a months. Break. I was prepping for a wedding, uh, which has happened. Um, I have been dealing with my children, uh, trying to get ready for school over the, uh, I mean, well, actually I was trying to get them ready for the end of school, getting them ready for summer. I was trying to, I have a, uh, 20 year old, well, almost 20 year old who's trying to move out. We were trying to get things settled with that. Um, we were having so many things God. that was going on. Oh my God. I came into um, a controversy with my wedding about who was going to walk me down the aisle. So, you know, of course, that definitely put me in my in my feelings. Um, I didn't really feel like any type of recording when I was dealing with my family issues. Um, I almost lost my matron of honor. This is my sister. We fell out a little bit. Um, but we, of course, we work us out. We good. So, um, it, was just, it was just a lot going on. I mean, a lot going on. I was in the middle of um, trying to... Uh, get my vehicle back up and get it properly running needless to say Please, it just was everything wrong. around getting married um so with this video and we just want to basically run down the wedding uh we're just gonna run down the day how some photos i don't have my video yet from the videographer of that day so we just want to take a little pictures when the video comes out of course i'll uh go ahead and I'll go ahead and um, share that with you guys. But for now, we're just going to take some pictures. Uh, a lot of people that was in the wedding didn't get a chance to, you know, see a lot of the wedding and a lot of what went down. Um, and, of course, photos. This is not a video, but photos say a thousand words. And it, with some of these photos, I mean, you can really make up your own story and you can kind of see what really went down. But, I mean, it's a wedding traditional thing now one thing i do want to i want to start off with um is my bridesmaids matron of honor maid of honor junior bridesmaids listen to me they understood the assignment when i tell you they understood the assignment i mean understatements uh, i mean uh, understatement what assignment understood <sighs> extra credit done I mean, grade improved. I mean, like, they understood, y'all. The night before the wedding, my bachelorette party, I, the whole time, that was, like, another issue. We was trying to figure out exactly, with everybody 
uh, the personalities that we had as a group in my wedding party, not everybody was down with the get down, if you understand what I'm saying. So we had to, um, I was struggling with what I wanted to do my bachelorette party. But y'all, let me tell y'all something. My baby sister, whoo, she came through. She came through with some games. We played um, some drinking games. And y'all, all I could remember was getting ready to go out to the club. And next thing I knew, I woke up in the middle of the night on the floor. And they left me right on the floor right on the floor so yes i have <laughs> i have a memory of drinking having a drinking game and waking up in the middle of the night everything else i do not remember they was so, there for me you all know, I wanna say. of course my sisters was there they watched over me you know what i'm saying but again you guys could have definitely put put more blankets on me. You know what I'm saying? They probably didn't want me to get overheated since I was drinking. I was Go ahead drunk. and get into the video. Um, like I said, I hope that you guys... <laughs> I hope you guys enjoy this video because um, it was a real memorable day for me. And um, I know y'all probably like, why she keep cutting this lettuce? Uh, it's a bit of my OCD here because I see in big pieces that need to be smaller. But anyway... But yeah, so, you know, everybody, a, a wedding is everyone's dream. Well, most women, you know, dream of getting married. And uh, this actually, this day came out perfect for me. Um, there were a few things that could have been better. But overall, I had a wonderful time. My, Like I said, my girls understood the assignment. Somebody even took off my wig and threw it across the couch somewhere. I woke up like oh my god <laughs> where's my wig <laughs> it was i was lost but um over, overall you know the girls they had a good time um everybody came through um and was very supportive of my day as gifts i got everyone robes personalized robes made so the morning of the wedding everybody was dressed in their um robes with their initial on it and um of course, their title of what they are in the wedding. And uh, basically just chilled out in the uh, four, we, I got us a four story townhouse that was um, very comfortable and very close to the venue of my wedding. So the next morning we basically just sat up and uh, we got dressed. I had two makeup artists come through and be there for us. Uh, they were there. Um, it's of course brushed by Alexia. Uh, that's her name is Raven, and then we also have crystallized by Crystal, um, of course, and her name is Crystal. So uh, yeah, y'all can follow them. They are awesome. Um, they did great work. They had my girls looking right. I mean, it was amazing. I loved every minute of it. So, um, but yeah, everybody was walking around, getting dressed in their robes put getting their makeups done um you know i was i was the last one to get done of course but um i just wanted to make sure everybody else was done uh, surprisingly um <laughs> my wedding started on time like who does that what weddings start on time like i literally put on the invitation five o'clock so that everyone could be there early because you know how people are usually late to weddings so I put five o'clock on the invitation. I had people calling me at like five o five. Like people have been here for like fifteen minutes. When is it going to start? And I'm like, why y'all even there so early? Who comes to a wedding on time? But I mean, I guess it was the first time for everything. Because in my wedding, they definitely they was there on time. I was, when I say I made a grand entrance, uh, it technically, I made a grand entrance about an hour and a half late. So I'm pretty sure that my guests were really, at, you know, agitated. They were probably ready to go, ready to eat, ready to get this thing over with. So they probably wasn't even, you know, interested in staying there the whole night. But I mean, I get it. I understand. We had everything going on. But for the most part, it all worked out. Um, you know, I had 
pretty much everybody who said they was going to be there was there. Had a few people that didn't show. But um, overall, like I said, we had a good ass time. A um, lot of memories. It was definitely a day to remember. Enjoy the video. And um, I hope you guys enjoy it. And if you have any comments or, you know, I can't say advice because, I mean, I, this is supposed to be a one and done thing. So, I don't plan on <laughs> going through this again. So, but um, but I want to share this special, these special photos with you guys because I really try to be, I don't like even though I have to wash the lettuce, I just sometimes I don't like touching food that I know other people gotta eat, but I washed my hands, so it's okay, so it'll be all right. But um, but yes, I just wanted to share this moment with y'all. And of course, those of y'all who are in the wedding that didn't get a chance to see a lot of these th these moments and um, would love to see themselves, this is for you. I mean, like I said, if y'all have any comments, please go ahead and drop the comments. Uh, before I go any further, subscribe to my channel if you've not already subscribed. And I know y'all like, why? Because you probably only going to post every three weeks. I'm, I'm really going to try to do better, y'all. I'm really going to try to do better. Being a, um, a single mom was one thing. Now, I'm a wife. So, uh, there's a lot on my plate. There's a lot of things that I'm, I'm trying to deal with. I'm trying to accomplish. So, um, I just kind of want to share that with you guys. And hopefully, I'll stay more consistent. But there's a lot. Y'all, I got three kids that I'm working on all day, every day. And I got a dog that I handle. I'm trying to find a business to start. Well, I got three businesses that I want to start. And I'm just all over the place. But anyway, you guys, subscribe, like, comment, share, all that good stuff. But yes, let's go ahead and get into the video. Like I said, I hope you guys enjoy every part of it. So, as y'all can see, the controversy between my, of who was going to walk me down the aisle, came to, um, it actually came to a great, a great conclusion. Um, <clears throat> you know, I hadn't spoken to my father, my biological father, over about a year and a half. Didn't feel comfortable with him walking me down the aisle or didn't, I didn't want to assume he was going to walk me down the aisle just based off of the fact that he was my father. So, of course, I had the alternate, which was my Papa Woods, and that's my mom's boyfriend. Um, he's been in my life for over 10 years now. So, I had chosen him to be my um, father. Uh, walk me down the aisle. Of course, um, that became a little bit of a controversy with some family members and my dad himself. So, you know, we worked it out. We talked it out. And as you can see... Um, I was able to get have both of them walk me down the aisle, which is an honor because uh, going from, you know, not really having your father in your life to having two men uh, support you on this day, it really meant a lot to me. And um, I'm so glad that I was able to work things out with my father and get get it going. So 
Um, as you can see, he, he was definitely there and um, it was very memorable. And I definitely, I got a chance to actually share the father-daughter dance with him. Uh, something that I was a little concerned with, to be honest, <laughs> in the planning session of my wedding. But uh, yes, let's continue on.
you know, of course, quick little break, you know, intermission. I had to, I got to cover it real quick because did y'all see, did y'all see the transition of the dress? <sighs> Listen to me. When I tell you my seamstress did that, we spent weeks, months, days putting this dress together. I designed this dress and I want to give a big, huge shout out to her. That's Goldie. Um, we are, I call her my Kenji. But uh, yes, Goldie, she definitely is the bomb when it comes to making things. So y'all follow her on Instagram. Go ahead, put her tag up there. Um, but yes, I want to give a big shout out to her because she definitely did her thing. Uh, I dreamed and planned for this dress for years. Uh, when I was supposed to get married um, years ago to my husband. We, we tried this before, but uh, I had designed this dress um, to be honest, I think I designed this dress way before then, um, just thinking of a young lady as I wanted to be married. This was something I always wanted. I always wanted a transitional dress. So, um, and I never wanted to wear the same thing for my wedding that I did in the reception. So, designed this, um, planned it out. I picked everything um, and she made my vision come true. So I, I really want to thank her, y'all. Um, like I said, follow her. Hit her up for all your needs. Um, she does upholstery. She does um, alterations. She does, uh, I mean, she does everything. So hit her up. But yes, that dress, was, that is my masterpiece right there. I designed that and she made it come to life. So I just wanted to, you know, jump in real quick so y'all can, you know, see how I did that. Everybody was surprised. I can't wait to see the video so I can actually see how I did it and hear it again because there was so much going on at the time. I was set, my adrenaline was rushing so much. I really couldn't pay attention to the applause or the compliments or the, like it was. I was in a whole nother world, y'all. I really was. So I can't wait to watch the video. But anyway, back back, back to the pictures. Back to the pictures. Alright guys, so that concludes my video. I hope you guys really enjoyed my pictures for it was such a memorable event, memorable event and moment in my life. Um, now again, I want to thank everybody who was a part of that special day. I just want to, you know, you know, my photographers, my videographers, everybody who was in the wedding, everybody who came to the wedding, um, even those who wasn't able to make it and still reached out, like I appreciate you so much. Uh, every woman dreams of having a successful, happy wedding, and it, it definitely came true for me on that day, thanks to all of you who had a part in it. But um, stay tuned for the next episode of Teja Vu. Look out for the video. I'll share that with you guys as soon as I get it. And uh, don't forget to subscribe and comment. Bye, guys. Let me go finish my dinner before my husband get home. <laughs>